Hello and welcome to this final video about this Belgram 4002. Uh, those who watched the previous videos will know that originally uh, it, the arm wouldn't move and that was fixed by replacing a belt. And then um, the arm couldn't be lowered because there was a corroded of trace inside and this was supplying voltage to the sensor uh, light, to the globe that, that shines onto the platter or the record and, and, um, uh, and the optical sensor there. So once I got that, it would work and play records, but the needles could still be lowered if there was no record. So if somebody pressed or even pressed the start, it would go and rip the um, needle uh, you know, <laughs> to, to, to shreds in, uh, and this is still a $600 uh, needle. So um, now it is fixed and all my wisdom comes from Rudy from beolover.com and he has that website, he has a YouTube channel you can see here and also the blog uh, beolover.blogspot.com I thoroughly recommend, he's got upgrades and you could replace, um, you could replace that globe with LEDs and, and fit remote control, all sorts of things. I, I, he's a very nice guy and very helpful and without him I would never have fixed it. So the the, 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 the fix for the um, for what um, uh, for the problem I had last, you know, the, the lowering of the arm without the record present was an adjustment of that voltage on the collector of TR3. It told me to fit a trimmer, I did and it now all works fine. So if you look when I start playing and he knows that there's not a right record, you see those uh, the trace there going up and down it actually counts those ribs. The ribs are not there only to um, you know support the record but also for the optics to know if there is a record or not. Of course there's no effectivity of the black record and and uh, and the platter gives it pulses so that's um, how it knows. And it's interesting to see how the arm gets advanced, you know, but, uh, you never see that sort of in action. So, um, that is pretty much all I have to say. There's a um, tracking force adjustment there. It's either just over one gram or, or, or below. I would have to move it to find out. In here we have a 45 and 33, the little pot adjustment of um, fine adjustment of speed. Uh, the last thing I want to show, you see it goes now nicely to the end. I'll grab the single and then I press start now. It goes and it uh, should just go to the end and come back after it knows that there is no record. So it means that it will not be lowered, you know, without the record. So it's now um, fully fixed. I mean one could you know, clean, um, one could clean uh, the um, micro switches there and convert that thing to be more reliable to LED and you can even fit remote control. Rudy sells all that kind of stuff, those kits and they come with instructions so I thoroughly uh, recommend his site if you have one of those and you want to restore it. He's very helpful and helped me, you know not that clever and uh, and of course I spent like two or three days on it because it's very hard to work the board is underneath the platter so if you want to measure anything you have to take it off solder a wire you know there's two more there solder a wire measure it and you know move it somewhere else and uh, a lot of stuffing around but I think it's worth it I mean it's one of the classics and if I ever wanted to get a turntable, that's what I would get, that or a Revox. Or apparently there is even a Sony linear tracking, so the three now that I know of. Well, thank you very much, and till the next one. Bye-bye.